eh, eh, fish head jerks. So here's a 75, 75 gallon tank. We've got, as you can see right there, some Crebenzas and some uh, nice big fat Denison barbs and uh, some gold laser Corys in the back there and some uh, black ruby barbs up here and there's a couple of spotted Raphael cats in here. I just saw one of them out. Where'd he go? Did I scare him? Man, I probably got the camera out and scared him. I wanted to get a, get a couple of shots of him. He's doing good looking nice some of these denison barbs too look at that guy he's a good sized one it's weird too because um look at this guy right here next to the uh, cory cat there look at the size of him and then look at the the size of these other ones um those all came in from the same batch they're all the same age but there's a huge disparity in size huge disparity in size so it's a little little strange that this guy's so little there he's he's about half the size of the other one so I guess he's just a runt uh, this tank uh, I, I did some work on it but it still needs a lot more look at look at all the mold down here on that corner a lot of particulates in the water I just fed just now but um, the Crebenzas are looking good The one that just went behind there was really colored up, but you can't see it too well. There he is. Still, the Denison Barb is my favorite out of this tank. That big guy right there. Oh, should I clean the tank? Should I clean the glass? I always should clean the glass. I never do before I take a video. I should take better care. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. The Spotted Raphael was just out. And he's looking good. He's got to be about... He's about to be about five inches long now. And still just fat as can be. The one of them. Uh, that mass of moss right there is doing really good. Huge mass of it. Again, lots of particulates in the water. And I have not uh, done maintenance on a canister filter in a long time. So that's, uh, that's in my very short to-do list coming up soon I'm going to definitely do some some maintenance on the canister filter um, sponge filters were cleaned just recently so that's I've I have two of the large sponge sponge filters from the co-op in here two of those guys there's one on the other side too and then a marine land uh, canister filter on this as well that's a grapevine out of my yard right there I like that a lot of water lettuce And a nice big uh, Nubia is back there, although it's not looking too good either right now. Um, again, I, I let stuff get out of, out of control, especially there was way too much water lettuce. There wasn't a lot of light getting down here. Uh, I wasn't keeping up on maintenance. I wasn't keeping up on everything. Just uh, just behind, and I got to do. I just got to do better. But uh, I'm not gonna not gonna hide it. Got I try try to be honest all the time. So. When I do bad things, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to always just show the best. And a lot of us in the fish fam are like that. A lot of us show when uh, when we don't do the right thing, we show people to show what can happen when you don't do the right thing. So, anyways, so it's a lot of activity in the tank. I mean, lots of colors. Uh, it gets too gets too glary up there man. I was really hoping that spotted Raphael would come back out again. There's two of them in here So there's some uh, some laser quarries. There's one right over here There's laser quarries. We got our Curbenzas. We've got our uh, Denison barbs We got our black ruby barbs in the back over there and some spotted Raphael's and that's all that's in this tank Another fun tank tank to watch though. So everything's been doing pretty good. All this is, you know, this tank is a uh, it's going on uh, a year old now. Actually, it's over a year old. Last March, it just passed a year old. This tank has had fish in it for just about a year right now. Just about a year. 
And, and the spotted Raphael usually hangs out of that coconut hut right there, one of them. And then there's a coconut hut over on the corner over here too that they it hangs out in quite a bit. The other one does. So, and there's a cave over here too. He could be back inside of that. Back in that mess back there. Actually, no, there's a Gerbenzis in the cave. Yeah, can't see it. Barely see it. It's picking at one of the uh, things, just like this guy here. Those are the uh, Hakari sinking wafers. They seem to like those quite a bit. Everything in here likes them. But yeah, there's a Crobenzis in that cave. So I don't know if um, if I've got some breeding going on. Not a lot of room in here. Uh, not a lot of uh, hiding place for fry. Uh, I need to get more plants in this tank too, for sure. Okay, thanks for watching the 75 gallon. See you guys.